Hi everyone! Today I'm here with my monthly subscription boxes review. Let's start with Birch Box. The design of this box of for the month of May was this lovely kind of plant, tropical one, I don't know. I really like it actually, I think it's quite original and refreshing, so I like it. Let's go inside. So the first thing is this hair spray. It protects, texturizes, volumizes and repairs for all hair types. And the brand is Amica, I don't know. It has a very light, sort of citrusy almost smell. I recently really like using different sprays for my hair because I think it's just so much nicer to spray it after you just washed it and then before brushing your hair just put some spray on them spray on it and just brush through and sometimes it adds some smell to your hair sometimes it makes it more kind of like however you want it to this one i don't know um i didn't notice any difference but then i don't always do i don't mind it i like it i use it from time to time because i've got another spray as well nothing special i wouldn't say but it's quite nice the other thing is natural body wash, relaxing geranium and peppermint, or geranium, I don't know. That's what it looks like, very tiny sample size. I don't particularly like the smell, I've only tried it once, I think, or twice. I'm not a huge fan of this body wash, to be honest with you. It's not, it doesn't smell very nice, and if you know me, I love when things smell very nice. And I like almost kind of sweet shower gels anyway. And also the other thing that I didn't really like is that it doesn't give you a lot of foam or bubbles. I really do like shower gels or body wash that actually gives a lot of foam because I think, I don't know, I just like it a lot more and this one just didn't give me anything like that. So I'm not a huge fan of this thing. But the only thing that is good is that it is organic. Next thing is this liquid eyeliner black. I got the other one, the thicker one from the... Um, I think it was glossy box last month so I've been using that one this one I haven't actually tried it is a lot thinner but I think I like this brand Ico London by the way I love this brand for using that eyeliner so I think this one will be good as well when I finish that one and want to go into more thinner ones I'll be using that one but the size of it is really really small so I don't know but it is quite good and I'm quite happy to receive it even though I've got several more liquid eyeliners at the moment. I'm I'm using them a lot so I'm happy to receive this. But still the size could be a bit bigger. Next thing is natural deodorant balm activated charcoal by Native Unearthed. That's the brand. And for some reason it came in this position. I don't know if that's supposed to be on the side or what i've used it once i think or twice um i don't mind it i haven't tried it enough to have my own opinion on it as much but the thing that i didn't like is that it is so sticky when you put it on i don't know if it works but it is so sticky that i don't like the feeling of it and i didn't want to put this back on afterwards so maybe i'll give it another go at some point but i like just normal deodorants anyway because I can trust them at least and I love those but this one is very sticky the last thing is my favorite item from Birchbox and this is this um, lip stain it's called by the brand I don't know how to even pronounce that but this is in the shade steaming red I love this thing so much I think the size is really small though so I might have to buy a full version of it. I don't see how it's considered to be red though. It is brown when I put it on my lips. It's kind of darker shade of brown. But I love it so much. I think it suits me. And I love how long it stays on my lips. I can even drink or eat and it won't go away. Well, it does a little bit fade. But not that much as some other things. So I'm really, really happy with this thing. And it also smells very nice and sweet like chocolate. Next is the Glossy Box. The design is really, really pretty for the month of May and it is called Daydreamer. I love the colours of this box and the design of it. I'm definitely going to keep the box. It looks all kind of lavender inside and it is one of my favourite colours. The first thing is this makeup remover, double effect makeup remover. 
cleansing and calming eyes and sensitive areas. Removes waterproof and long lasting makeup. And the brand is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but as you can see, it is double layered. It does remove makeup, I think, well enough. I don't actually like the feeling that it leaves after I put it on my skin. It kind of, I don't know, it's sort of oily or something. So I feel like I need something else after using this. Well, like obviously I use toner after I remove my makeup. But at the same time, I, feel, I don't like the feeling that it leaves. I much prefer my Lush um, 9 to 5 cleanser, which removes my makeup. So it is all right, but it is not one of my favorite things. And I think there are better makeup removers, to be honest. The second thing, I haven't actually tried it because I'm lazy, but it is Jelly Foot Soak. It's one try. So one of these thing with lemon, with lavender and lemongrass. There are two, and the brand is Gel Spa, I suppose. There are two, like, sachets. One of them is supposed to turn your water into gel of some sort, and the other one will bring it back to being water. So you soak your feet in it for some time, and then it's supposed to be, I don't know, smooth or something. It soothes tired, aching feet, helps with athlete's food, combats, combats fungal issues, eases food or food odor, natural exam treatment, vegan friendly and safe for diabetics. I haven't tried it, like I said, so I have no idea. But I do quite like the idea of, from time to time, using sort of masks for, for my feet because sometimes I feel like they get dry and kind of, not broken, but what's the proper word? Peeling skin or something. So I think I need something like that from time to time to just kind of recover. So hopefully I will like it. The other two things I wasn't a huge fan of, they came as like one thing because they are, well, you'll see. So the first one is True Soft Shampoo and the other one is True Soft Conditioner. They are in weird shape because I've used them both and they are completely empty. And the company is, I don't actually know what the company is, Maria Nilla, that's it, Stockholm. Um, it is vegan and cruelty free. They actually smell all right, but not my favorite thing. Plus I didn't notice any difference using this shampoo and conditioner no, no difference to my hair whatsoever and I won't be buying those again because I don't know I wasn't impressed with those so I'm just gonna stick with my shampoo that I've been using so yeah and the very last thing is one of my favorite things that I it's probably my favorite thing that I received this month in a uh, glossy box it's this uh, palette eyeshadow palette by trifle cosmetics I really, really like the design of the box, and I've got one thing by them as well. That was the um, sugar scrub for my lips. I love that scrub. So, when you open this, it looks like this. Even better design, I think. It is tiny and cute with all of those ice creams, and it's all colorful. And when you open it, there are several different colors, obviously, and they're quite nice. I especially like combining these two, and this one, this color is quite nice as well. I've used them all, and they're really, really good colors. Quite good pigmented, quite well pigmented, and all that. The only thing, I don't think they last very long, so towards the end of the day, I don't know, several hours later, 10, 12 hours later, they kind of get all fading faded and fading away a little bit. Next one is Look Fantastic. This month, for the month of May, it was orange on top and bright pink on the bottom. Before I forget, um, I decided to unsubscribe from this box. First of all, because receiving three beauty boxes every month is probably a bit too much because I'm ending up, end up with a lot of products that I don't always use. Second reason is that I subscribe to a book box instead which costs 32 pounds and this one was 15 pounds so I thought to kind of compensate it I need to unsubscribe from one of my beauty boxes and that was one of them and the reason for that is that I don't I'm not always happy with the sizes that they give I'm not always happy with the products that they give especially the fact that they keep sending me anti-aging stuff that I don't really need and I don't really use so I decided to unsubscribe from this one. But let's get through the things that I've got here. First item is, as usual, the magazine that I am kind of still halfway through looking at it. 
Inside it was all bright pink as well. So the first thing is actually a pretty cool idea. Teeth White Stripes by Spotlight. Love your smile. There are four of these stripes. And I think it's a really, really good idea. I would love to try those. The only thing, it is recommended that I give up on coffee and tea for, for a couple of days of using it. And I, I'm not ready to do that. I can't live without coffee. I just can't function without it. So <laughs> I'm waiting for when I'm ready to give up coffee because it gives you better results if you um, try to avoid those dark colored drinks. So we'll see. The next thing was this in transit camera close up mask moisturizer and primer in one by This Works. I'm I quite liked it. I like the texture, I like the smell, and I think it did work as a primer really well, plus as a moisturizer. So I really like just using one thing instead of using like a primer and a moisturizer. It was so much easier. So quite a good thing, I think. The other thing was bubble purifying charcoal face mask sheet. I actually really enjoyed it. It is one of those that you put on your face and it kind of uh, foams and it was foaming because of the oxygen. I really liked that actually. I really enjoyed having it on my face and my face felt so refreshed during having this mask and after that. So I was quite impressed with it and I quite liked it. The other thing <laughs> is the liquid eyeliner by the same company, Ico London. The same one as the Bird Box sent to me, but obviously the size is a lot bigger and a lot better, so I ended up with those, with two of those. I've been, like I said, I've been using the one that is thicker, and I'm really happy with the quality of it. I like how pitch black it is and how long it lasts and how easy it is to apply, so I'm quite happy to receive those two anyway. The other thing I haven't used but it is Radical Firmness Anti-Aging Serum. See what I told you, anti-aging. And I don't think it's a good size because it seems like there's nothing in there, almost nothing. So I haven't used it. I don't need anti-aging stuff and it keeps being annoying for me by the brand Avon, by the way, or whatever, however it's supposed to be pronounced. So yeah, don't know, haven't tried it. And the last thing from this box, is probably my favorite and it is by the brand Sleek and it is a bronzer I think or a contour palette with a highlighter. I love this contour thing so much I really like the color I've been using it as a bronzer though but it is face contour kit pressed powder and highlighter in one I like the color that it gives I like how it blends and the highlighter is quite nice as well it's kind of, I don't know how well you can see, but it is natural color, but kind of gives you more shimmery things on your face. So I was really happy to receive it. So yeah, these are all of the things that I received from all of the three boxes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, bye.